So there's a lifestyle pattern that has become very common, especially amongst the younger generation, where men are basically cocooning themselves against ever feeling the fucking stinging rattle of embarrassment. And I truly believe that a lot of these younger guys actually think that death is a better deal than ever having to fucking experience embarrassment. Because fundamentally, what you have to understand is every time a man undergoes embarrassment or a humiliation by taking a big swing and missing and striking out, that is a miniature death. Embarrassment is nothing more than a miniature death, a miniature apocalypse while you're still living. Because all the preconceived notions about yourself come into the fore. Everything comes into view. Your skill level, how talented you thought you were. You're putting that all on the line every time you take a shot. And what I'm witnessing, very common amongst Gen Zers, is you got motherfuckers walking around curating a very explicit lifestyle around avoiding any kind of rejection or humiliation. Tight-lipped, stiff-walking motherfuckers going to grocery stores, going to fucking coffee shops, never saying hello to a single person, not talking to women, ever. Because in your mind, you've confabulated this dream that if you don't speak to anybody in public and you're antisocial, you're giving off the impression that you already got a girlfriend. You already got so many friends. You're so successful that now you're so pompous that no one deserves your attention. But really, you have nothing. And so it's a self-preservation mechanism. You're just going to go home and wallow in your apartment all day because you would rather curl up in a fetal position and fucking die lonely and invisible as long as there's not a single person on earth knows that you failed. Losers never fucking lose, by the way. Ever. Losers don't lose because losers never even fucking play the game. They never ante up. They never shove their chips in the middle. They never stick their fucking chest out. They come up with crafty, shifty little mental mechanisms of making themselves alone. And they will convince themselves that the only reason why they're alone and not getting what they want is because they're so fucking brilliant that nobody could possibly understand them anyway. You're the misunderstood fucking genius, aren't you, buddy? It's unreal. 